Hey there, this is Bijal Palmer and I'm here with Conan Abbas and you have been the, the captain of the Jane cricket team but that's not all, you actually received some high accolades. Can you tell me more about what you've just recently done? Uh, there, there was this uh, tournament called the Toyota University Cricket Championship. I think most of them uh, must have seen it on uh, television, that's on uh, Star Cricket. That's a worldwide uh, channel which is across the world. And that, that's been a fabulous platform for me to be uh, a part of. Uh, I, I, I was there and I was the player of the tournament in that uh, tour. It, it was conducted by the NDTV HRD ministry. Yeah. So, so what, was it, what was it like now? You, your team actually won the competition, is that right? Yeah, we won uh, Jain, uh, that's the Jain University which won the uh, Toyota Championship. Okay, so you, you're the captain, your team won, and how do you feel about that? It's, uh, I think it's a fabulous feeling uh, playing at, it, it looked for me like an international feeling. Even though it was not an international uh, level tournament, it was just a college uh, cricket tournament. It felt like uh, I was playing for uh, my country. It was, it was feeling like I was playing like uh, in front of a million people who are watching across the world. And that's, that's kind of a big achievement. Me, not just being the player of the tournament, but being a part of the tournament, uh, part of the team and part of the winning side. Well, I want to congratulate you for, for that achievement. But I know about 12 months ago you were going through a little bit of a challenging time. Your, your, your scores were, were going down and also something about a, a broken leg. Can you tell me more about what happened in that period of time? Yeah, uh, around a year ago, before I met uh, Ian Faria, uh, he, who, he, he is the man who changed me. Before that, let me tell you, I was just a person uh, who was never used to come out, who never used to speak to people. And I think I was very uh, self-centered. Never, I used to listen to people, and I used to get scared. The fear factor, fear of failure, what uh, what people think about me, and and all that, all this stuff kept keeping into my mind. But uh, once, I, I don't know, I attended one of the programs. I, I'd like to attend a lot of programs which I like to learn. So I just uh, came across uh, Ian Farah in one of the programs. The way he spoke, uh, I thought, let me go meet him. Let me see what uh, he has to offer. Because I have attended a lot of training programs before. It's not that I haven't attended. I didn't feel that difference. The, I didn't change. It is the same man. But when I met Ian Faria, I think I met him only for five minutes. Five minutes, this changed my mind, changed my thoughts. And then I came, I found out about his programs. I went into pep talk. I did that program. And believe me, now if people, if people uh, tell me you're not this way, if any international figure says if you're not good enough in this, I don't believe. I believe in myself. I know I can achieve what is up to me because every person in this world is different. Nobody is as similar as anybody else. That's that's how Ian Faria is just given me a two-day program. Not not the program weeks together, not months together. It's just two-day program. I say, if you want to change your life, come to Pep, pep Talk. Well, wonderful. And actually, right now, we happen to be in Ian Freer's office. We've just uh, been, been doing a communication uh, event together. And you know, I really admire your, your story because you know, you're, you're, you're comfortable sharing that you're going through a challenging time. Uh, you even have a, a broken leg. And you could have called it quits. You could have just given up and no one would have said you know, anything wrong. But you overcame the challenge. And, and, you, and you, you know, acknowledged Ian for helping you make the mind shift. Because obviously you had the, the talent. The talent was there, but yet something was going wrong in, in the mechanism. And you worked with Ian, and Ian basically tuned it, he tweaked it, and all of a sudden you came back out of the slump, and you went on to basically win as, as the, the winning captain of the university, Jane University team. And I want to congratulate you again for that achievement. And, but also, you know, you're, you're so willing to share the, the positivity of, of what's possible when you put your mind to it. And if you had one tip, for people um, watching this, you know, youngsters who, who believe that their dream is not achievable. What's your, what's your one tip to the youngsters out there, or just to people in general, about reaching that goal? See, uh, I, I just believe in uh, one thing that everybody in this world has come to achieve something big. 
everybody has that talent in them nobody is as similar as anybody else I say this that one tweet that the belief in oneself is very very important I would say um, my life is taken a turn in just maybe a couple of days maybe of three days where I was going a lean patch and then I thought yeah something could uh, take me there and I did that is just taking that maybe uh, I, I would say uh, there is there is somewhere down the line they have kept the limits of themselves like a barrier like something. a barrier so if they could break that and come into the next step I think they would uh, they would see a new world altogether because they're in that comfort zone I, I feel they're in the com comfort zone if they could put that one step extra and put that effort of crossing that uh, barrier I say there is nothing it is impossible in this world everything is possible believe in yourself and there is nobody who can stop you right, thank you so much so you know, if you're watching this and you're having some challenge in life or there's some barrier that you know is existing there between where you are today and where you need to get to just know that there are people like, like yourself who have faced the same challenges but the difference between someone like you and people who don't is you took action you did something about it, you recognize that, you know what, there's something here and you're willing to step over that and continue the journey. So I want to thank you, I want to, I'm looking forward to seeing you play for the national team. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be a, you know, something you're also looking forward to, so I, I wish you all the best in that pursuit. And for now, this is BJR Palmer, I wish you well.